Hiya, hiya. What's your story? Mine is that imagination has no age. It is limitless. Except today, some guy in Miami drove the wrong way. <laughs> it's not funny, but he drove down the highway the wrong way. He's 60 something years old. Uh, that's not what you do, you know. Uh, this, this is uh, an age thing, you know, and they say in Florida you never see anybody's head because they shrink as they get older and you just see the top of the head in the car when you're driving. There's a lot of jokes about that. They make fun of us here at Wrinkle World. Hey, listen, this is a interesting thing, how we lived our society with lawyers. It used to be when something happened in the family, you would call a relative you would call maybe an uncle, you maybe would call your priest or your rabbi, but now you call a lawyer. Every time something happened, uh, there was a Delta, I think it was Delta Airlines, had an emergency landing in LA and they had to dump some fuel. But you can't make it an emergency landing with a full tank, it's very dangerous. So they dumped the fuel and I guess the fuel went, some of it went around the schools uh, where, where it just landed, you know, from, where it was dumped. And and so they called the lawyers. Now the lawyers are are finding fault with with the airline and the dumping of the fuel and the and and the pains that the parents have. Everybody's got a lawyer for something. Even Trump has hired a couple of lawyers. He got rid of Giuliani and he hired a couple of lawyers now. He his lawyer hired lawyers. <laughs> Is it, is it unbelievable how we have uh, gotten into this society? Well, we created this whole society of finding fault with people and then defending it even when they're wrong. That's what we've done. See, the lawyers are not about right or wrong, good or bad, necessarily. They're about winning and losing. They defend criminals. They, they'll, they'll go to the, to the court when somebody they know did something terrible, but they have a lawyer. <laughs> what, what what other society has that? Can you imagine back in the day when the pilgrims were here and you had committed a crime? Uh, so one of the one of the people came along in that little courtship that they had and knew you committed the crime, but yet told the court or the the society that you were innocent and wonderful. <laughs> they, they would have executed both of them. <laughs> it would have been a, a mass burning. See how stupid we've gotten. We have gotten so stupid because we don't do what's right. We we defend lies. People tell here's how it goes. This is the this is the this is the trail. First you tell a lie. This is why it works on television with all these people who are not honest, okay? First you tell a lie, and then you tell a lie to cover up the lie, and the third lie becomes the entertainment. Because we want to figure out how the hell he's gonna get out of it. <laughs> Oh man! Well, it's Martin Luther King weekend uh, coming up on Monday. I had a, uh, I had a couple of things that I would like to announce. First of all, I'm going to be showing you. I'm drinking my coffee black. That I'm doing, not for any other reason except I like it that way. Uh, and the the other thing I wanted to mention to you is I used to say on the air that you could tell where Martin Luther King Boulevard is in every city, you know. Uh, and I said the reason they put it there is so you know where the good chicken is. Now, you know, I never got in trouble for that one, but I got in trouble with my father when I danced with a black girl on television in the 60s on my show. Uh, we weren't supposed to do that back then, you know. I mean, there, there was no color uh, exchange. I had never seen color as being a, a, uh, an issue. I, matter of fact, I had a discussion with Nina Simone, very famous jazz artist, and a ter terrifically talented lady. And I had a fight with her one day. She closed the piano that she was playing on my hands because uh, of what I was saying. You know, I, I, I was, I'm a civil rights guy, no matter what. I, it's not because there's a cause, it's because. <laughs> it just, it's just, uh, to me, it's nothing to be a color. But it's everything to be in a culture that doesn't honor anybody because of their color or their whatever. There's a lot of things that people do that are different. And you know what, I said something the other day, uh, radio and television, they have ratings and they rate shows based on demographics, that means age, which is stupid. That's another stupidity. Uh, it had nothing to do with it because if you're 12 years old and you like baseball or 70, you're going to watch the whole game and you're going to have ratings. It's got nothing to do with your age, it has to do with your interest. 
And, and you know, everybody in a family is different. Maybe there are people in a family who don't like each other, but you're, you're there for a common cause. Maybe your mother, maybe your father, maybe the fact that uh, this is a good shelter for you. I don't know what the reason is, but families are all different. So how can you take and make a rating on radio or television or get a Gallup poll or a Harris poll and find out how generally everybody thinks? Because you know, the truth of the matter is no one does think generally. People are sheep and they follow certain things because we are not told facts. Uh, I had a discussion yesterday about, about California. I said California is the first state as of this month, January, to, because of election in the fall, to prohibit and to protect privacy in phone calls and in all of our information banks. The, the information has to be protected. California is the first state to come up and do that. So all the other ones are going to follow. We're going to have privacy laws. I mean, nobody likes robot calls, but also nobody wants anyone to tap into their information, which is really going to be punishable. It's a crime in California. A lot of things are a crime in California. Uh, I, I happen to have had a good life there because I was very wealthy. Uh, when, and then I got very poor, and I didn't have such a good life. <laughs> I don't think I had to do with California. I think I had to do with money. Uh, but we are definitely in a money society, and that's why we have the lawyers. And back to that, we graduated too many of them, and they're they're really a it's it's a it's a creepy profession. It, it just is. I mean, you don't need all these lawyers. It's bullshit. <laughs> that's what they do. They so look at the ads on television for them. If you have an accident, call us. <laughs> yes, and if if you're if you have a hangnail, give us a call. Or if you sat in the bathtub too long and you got too much, that, you know, I mean, you know where it goes. It's just, it's just ridiculous. But that's us. <laughs> it's a uh, oh, follow me on on Facebook and on YouTube, and uh, don't follow me too closely though. In the wrong lane. It's a Reynolds wrap. <laughs>